What's up party people? Uh, today we're going to talk about automations. <clears throat> Why automations were created? Uh, no, first of all, we needed it ourselves. But secondly, we believe that it is a huge help for you guys as well. So if you are a uh, small business owner that can't stand routine tasks, you want to learn how, how to use automations. Uh, so let's dig into it. So uh, I'm here at the web application at the moment. From here, you can find automations tab. And um, there are two kinds of automations that you can create uh, in Spark Visit. Uh, so first is a recurring expense or income, automatically create new expenses income based on template on regular intervals. You can do those on daily, weekly, monthly, uh, so on. So those can be, for example, expenses, a rent fee that you get uh, every month, but you don't get a receipt for that. So you can create an expense automatically created month over month. Or then you can auto assign details. Uh, so based on the merchant name, uh, you can automatically assign tags, categories, and payment methods, both for expenses and for income. And I have now created two different kinds of uh, automations. The first one uh, is from Mr. Big Boss. It's a rent or lease automation that is recurring monthly every 12th of a month. And the second one uh, is uh, auto assign expense details. So when the expense contains market that is uh, categorized as a test market one, that will be the name. Uh, the categorization will be on expenses, test expenses, and it will be reimbursement, and there will be a tag, which will be a test. So let's have a, have a uh, live test now and see how it works. So I have my mobile application here. I'm gonna take a picture of this uh, receipt. <laughs> and hopefully this is, yes, it's it's right now. So there was a market on the name. So the merchant name was changed uh, to a test market one, and it will be on test expenses. It will be on reimbursement as was stated on the automation, and there is a DAC which is test. So this is a practical example on how this works in practice. So yeah, these are the automations. You can create those from the web application, uh, test them out, and let us know what you think. That was everything about automations for today. Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.